Sat on the outskirts of Madrid, this alternative school has always been a bit of an outlier. A pavilion of pioneering design, the school stands almost like an elegy to the power of education and the unseen stimuli of the built environment. Successive generations have drawn inspiration from nature, the art, storytelling and the perpetual spirit of play, a creative curriculum that is amplified by its architecture. No wonder then that many graduates have grown up to become some of Spain's most accomplished architects and designers. The school's methodology is part of its mythology. In the 1940s, dismayed by the brutal nationalistic fervor of post-Civil War Spain, Colegio Estudio's three female founders created a progressive pedagogical model. The central pillars, creativity, an appreciation for the outdoors, and a robust regimen of physical activity were designed to cement more collaborative and caring values. Como es bastante lógico, en un contexto de dictadura, un modelo pedagógico que propugna eh, la educación en democracia, que propugna la participación de los alumnos, que propugna valores que nada tienen que ver con los del régimen, que los niños y las niñas den clase juntos, pues no puede estar señalándose diciendo eh, estamos aquí y lo hacemos todo al revés, lo hacemos al margen del sistema. Entonces yo creo que eso va a generar una tradición en la institución muy, muy íntima, muy de interior, muy de trabajar de puertas adentro. In the 1960s, Madrid's iconoclastic architect, Fernando Higueras, a proud graduate of the school, was commissioned to envisage an edifice that enriched these forward-thinking ideas even further. Completed in 1966, Higueras's new campus combined the traditional vernacular found in small Spanish villages with sinuous, almost skeletal structural forms. I just uh, found it amazing that the school was like a labyrinth, Everything, everywhere was uh, different and you could describe any, any corner, any, any place of the school and everybody would know about it. Although the structure is quite straightforward, it's uh, just a, a couple of construction details, one column, one beam and the, the modules are always the same. But uh, with a huge um, diversity. All the classes are different and, and that made uh, the school very interesting to be inside. Unfolding with functionality at its core, huge windows led in natural light or broad corridors double as additional learning spaces and makeshift galleries. Awe-inspiring spaces accommodate plenty of Colegio Estudio's quirks. Daily dose of acrobatics under the gymnasium zigzagging concrete beams, the use of puppets or los corritos, which enthrall pint sized audiences with playful chatter about ethics, an embrace of theatrics both on and off the stage, and the colourfully decorated classrooms, often overseen by ex alumni, lured back to the school to become teachers. Llegabas aquí al colegio, que era totalmente naturaleza. Eh, no había nada construido, no teníamos ningún tipo de vallas alrededor del, del colegio, entonces eh, nosotros, nuestro recreo, nuestras vivencias, es todo el campo era nuestro. La verdad es que no teníamos sensación de que estaba limitado por ningún lado. Y es verdad que, que bueno, los recuerdos son estupendos. De hecho, pues estoy aquí como profesora por esos recuerdos. Sanguine about their formative years, many graduates enroll their children here too, eager to return to the much-loved building to instill in them the same sense of creative freedom which served them so well in later life. My own daughter is here at the school. One day she came to me and she said, I'm, I have learned this poem of Loba Parda. And then she started to, to say that she has to learn it by heart. And then she told me, estando yo en la michoza, pintando la micallada, las cabrillas. And then I, 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 I went with her, and las cabrillas altas iban y la luna rebajada. Mal barruntan las ovejas, algo pasará en la majada. Vi de venir siete lobos por una oscura cañada. And then suddenly my, my daughter looked at me and said, how, how can it be that you, that you know that poem? And I said, I also had to learn it when I was uh, 10. And that was... Well, a nice connection, but maybe that's emotional. The rational part is that I think that it's a, a good school that combines content with uh, good values. 
Tradition infused with imagination, nature explored through exercise, art embraced in the everyday. The traditions of Colegio Estudio have been sung like a chorus line for eight decades, with each generation perfecting its own tone while always staying loyal to the lyrics. Yet, hanging over this campus of creativity, an enduring lesson in the power of the built environment. By giving room for young minds and bodies to flourish, Colegio Estudio has always encouraged fertile young imaginations to embrace the wider world. It's a benevolent idea given both life and form throughout the reduced yet rousing realm of this well-designed school.